Hello guys, it's me Salav Oxval and today I'm gonna show you my workflow and help you to speed up your Lightroom editing. What we're gonna do today is HR editing on interior in a stunning real estate that I shoot yesterday. I'm gonna use the new uh, HDR function that is uh, in Lightroom that changed the whole game when it comes to editing real estate photos. I'm gonna showcase you how I do a base editing when I'm editing a whole real estate and how I just use that to sync on the all other pictures. And in 20 minutes, I already have like a good finished product and I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. So today I'm just gonna showcase this on five pictures and show you how fast it goes. So let's jump into Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom. I have merged my photos here uh, and uh, I can show you this place was beautiful. It was good lightning conditioning and everything is very good. What I'm gonna do in this editing is I'm gonna let the windows be blown out. I don't want to window pull. The reason of that is because it's snowy outside in the pictures and we are in April here and my client doesn't want to see the snow outside. So what I'm just doing an easy fix, just blow out the windows. I don't mind to do it. I think it looks good anyway and I think it looks natural. So, but enough talk about that. Let's jump into editing. So the first thing I want to do when I want to just auto sync and just make it based on all the pictures, I want to find a good balance picture when you, you both have a lot of shadows, but you have a lot of highlights. And then I'm just going to choose this picture when we have a lot of shadows here on the right side and we have a lot of highlights on the left side. The first thing I want to do is to click on the HDR. And I want to scroll down and make sure I have the preview for the SDR display clicked in. After I have done that, I'm just going to correct exposure a little bit. Because it's a little bit dark, a little bit. So we just bring that up a little bit. I'm just going to give it a little bit more of contrast. Detain the highlights. And punch in some blacks. So when I've done that, we have something good looking. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the HDR settings and I'm just gonna pump that brightness up, max, all the way to the top. And we're gonna bring out the highlight saturation. So if I show you here and I pump that up, you can see we have a lot of casting here. Blue casting, a little bit of green casting in the windows. And what I want to do is to bring it down. As you can see, we lose some of the colors in the floor by the window here. But I don't mind that as well, because when I was there, it was more of this feeling. It, was not, it wasn't so yellowish. Uh, we had more of this natural look, and I like that. It's perfect. So when I've done that, I'm just going to give it some clarity. So bump that up and maybe some contrast. And there we go. There we have something really good to start with. The other thing I always do when I do the base layer or the base editing is I put on a mask. And this is a really cool trick. I think when you have seen this trick, you're going to use it all the time. I do it. It's really, really cool. Because when you shoot real estate, you always have this problem with casting. Like the floor cast the color up all around the place. We don't have that much casting in this picture, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, and when I have this linear gradient, I'm just gonna take it from the top and bring it down to the bottom. Uh, I don't have to give it a little bit straighter like that. Maybe a little further down. There we go. Boom. I'm just gonna zoom that in a little bit. I will go back to that one. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna pick out the Casting, I like casting colors in the ceilings and at the walls. So I'm just gonna find the color there and I'm just bringing it down and range up. Uh, let's see if we have other colors. I don't think there is one we can take away a little bit. And, uh, I think that was most of it. Is it something more there? Some more orange ish, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. Let's bring that out as well. Uh, I think if we bump up the... Yeah, that looks good. That looks 
Yeah, okay. But when we have taken out the colors, you might lose some colors in the floor and other details. So what I'm just doing, this is the whole trick is just go to sub subtract and I go to the brush and I'm just gonna take away the mask from the floor. And sometimes you can take away from the plants if you want to keep some green color in the plants or stuff like that. I'm just taking it like way like that and boof, voila, we have a good mask and it looks really good already. Uh, and what we're gonna do as well, I'm just gonna do a, a correction. See what we get. Oh, little bit. Doesn't feel straight. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. And um, what more do we have? Yeah, okay, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. And um, let's see, do we have any more editing that we want to do? I think it looks really good already. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fix the contrast in the highlights. And what, how we do that is very easy. I'm just gonna take radio, put it on the window, copy paste and I want some more contrast in here in the in the bookshelves as well so I'm doing that I'm just punch up the exposure maybe give it a little bit of shadows and bam it's just pop the image now that we have done that what we can do is just take all of this and we can auto sync And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the first mask that was from that was from the ceiling and now we can use that one and we just synchronize and let's see what's happening. So now I have a good base on all the pictures. This one looks already super good. Nothing's crazy with this, it's all good. I like it. And we have this one, and here we can just fix the window. As I said, I want them more blown out and we can blow this one out a little bit more. So I'm just going to do a quite big uh, big, uh, big mask over it and I'm just going to bring out the highlights. And there we have a little bit too much. There we go. Maybe a little bit of the white as well. And we punch up the contrast and we punch down the shadows so we get... There we go. Perfect. And I just can take away a little bit in the middle, just a little bit. And we go to the next one. As well, just gonna bring up the exposure a little bit on this one. And we can bring down the shadows. So we get more of a punch in this picture. It's a good picture, I like this picture. And we have this one, really good picture as well. Um. Yeah, we can blow out the window a little bit more. Uh, there, and we bring out the contrast and a little bit of the shadows. And boom, there we go. That was one, two, three, four, five pictures in less than, I don't know, seven minutes maybe. That's how fast it goes. So these are all ready to go to client. This is good enough, all day long good enough for a, for a client when it comes to real estate photos. So that's how I do it and how I do my workflow in Lightroom. Lightroom is good enough. You don't need to do the other program. Of course, you're going to have different clients that want different type of style. But this is all I do to do really fast HDR editing in Lightroom only. If you like this video and want to see more tutorials and I want to learn more about Lightroom and how you can edit in your real estate photo and interior photo in Lightroom, you subscribe to my channel, like this video. If you want me to make a base preset and you want it, just comment preset and I will send a preset to you so you have a base preset that you can use that work for all properties to speed up your editing. Thank you for this video. Have a good time.